five unique types of used car lots. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework Guide team bringing you an important video update from Kevin. Stay tuned to our community page for updates on his recovery and thank you so much for the outpouring of prayers and support. Especially at a time when car prices are high, it's critically important for car buyers to save every dime we can on a car purchase. One of the factors that impacts the price you actually get depends on the type of used car lot you happen to be visiting. You might not have known that there are five unique different types of used car lots because there are differences that aren't clear to the everyday buyer. After all, you see a lot full of cars and you figure a dealer is a dealer and well, they're going to have a car for you to drive. However, knowing a bit about the difference in the used car lots could save you a few Benjamins. In no particular order, here's used car lot number one, the used car superstores. These are the big guns in the used car market. I'm going to guess the moment you heard that, you thought of CarMax. Well, you got it right. While there are others who fit in this category too, CarMax is by far the biggest with the total number of used cars they have in inventory. For those who dread the car buying process, a used car superstore might be right for you. Many of them boast the no haggle pricing, no hidden fees, no frustration. Of course, you shouldn't assume that a no haggle price is the best price. These lots sell thousands of cars and they're scattered all over major metro areas. Based on the volume of cars they generally move, you're likely to have more choices than any of the used car lots on our list today. The bottom line, if you are hoping to get the best possible price, the used car superstore Aww. is not for you. But if you are looking for a no hassle car purchase, you can show up after work without burning up your entire night. Well, the superstore is good for you. Hooray! Used car lot number two, independent used car lots. When it comes to used cars, you often find the best dealers at independent used car dealerships. And that's true in part because they carry a lot of cars a new car dealership historically wouldn't stock. That's mostly due to space. And when you're in the middle of a car shortage, that's not so much of an influencer for obvious reasons. Independent used car lots also have greater flexibility, both with negotiations and with cheaper car options. If the independent used car dealership is in your community, they tend to inventory cars that are more in alignment with the wages and incomes of your area. So if a $7,000 or $10,000 car is what sells best in your neighborhood, expect this dealer to stock more of these kind of cars. A couple other things to know about independent car lots. Many of them have been around for a very long time, and we've generally had good experiences with these dealers, and we continue to buy used cars there. However, there are also those who aren't very thorough when it comes to looking at their inventory. If it ever made sense to you to have a used car inspected before you purchased it, this type of dealer certainly warrants this extra step. Also, this type of dealer tends to have a one and done approach to selling cars to customers. If you're hoping to establish a long-term warm fuzzy customer supplier relationship, this dealer is not your huckleberry. <laughs> Bottom line is, the independent used car lot has different objectives than a dealership carrying branded vehicles for a manufacturer. There's no quota, no end of month pressure, not a lot of interest in playing hardball negotiator with you. This is one type of dealer who is just going to tell you to leave if your haggling gets too intense for them. If you're going to shop here, we recommend that you've done your homework. Complete your homework in advance and then you know what a good car deal is and if their prices aren't even close, don't waste your time. You'll always be setting yourself up for frustration. So one final point, expect more miles on these cars they stock and less warranty, if any, on the vehicles. I need to say this again. Don't forget about our advice to get independent mechanics to inspect the vehicles for you. Used car lot number three, a new car dealership. Everybody expects to see used cars at a new car dealership, right? And it's definitely one of the viable options out there. While a new car dealer could be argued to have focused on new cars, they are a viable option when seeking a used vehicle. And some of them do indeed sell more used cars than new ones. The claim that there are less trust issues with used cars at a new dealership, well, it's a bit funny here at the Homework Guy channel. Not true. Supposedly having to answer to car manufacturers helps keep the dealer's nose clean? Hardly. Anybody out there in our viewing audience have a problem with a used car you bought from a new car dealership? Mm-hmm. I think you should have your guard up for this dealer too. For those of you interested specifically in certified pre-owned cars, well, this dealer will have that CPO car too, but that's something we don't really get excited about here at the homework guy. Used car lot number four, specialty used car lots. Now you might have thought vintage or collector cars, but while it's possible, this business model is more in reference to carrying only specific types of used cars. Perhaps your area has an abundance of Mercedes and BMW lovers, and they are the buyers who like to let somebody else take the hit for those first few years. So the specialty used car dealer in your area decides to stock BMWs, Mercedes, Audis. It's a niche market and a kind of a specific used cars. 
It can also be a niche of specific categories like trucks or SUVs. Think in the middle of the Dakotas, trucks are everywhere. Well, let's stock trucks. In this category, they'll generally have more for you to look at than the other used dealers in town. But don't count on specialty used car dealers to be the best price dealer in town. They aren't, after all, after a price shopper. They're after the customers who want that specific type of car with many options to choose from. Used car lot number five, buy here, pay here. Let's see, is there anything good we can say about a buy here, pay here dealer? Well, think of this car lot as the final ditch effort, the only dealer you're left with before you have to either ride the bus or walk to work. The buy here, pay here lot targets buyers with damaged credit or no credit history at all. There are several major inconveniences like having to deliver your monthly payments or even weekly payments in person. The interest rates on their loans are often triple that of other auto loans. And to make matters worse, a dealer can severely cripple you if you can't pay on time. The entire business model is about capitalizing on those of you who won't be able to make your payments. They hit you with big fat fees, causing you to default on your loan. Then they just come get your vehicle, resell it to someone else and do it all over again. All right, so let's pull out the five major types of used car dealers, put them on the screen, and let's see where we stand on them. So, homework guy viewers, tell me which used car dealer type have members of our team most often bought cars from. Yep, it's the independent used car lots. We've never had a problem taking a car off their lots to be inspected. We cut to the bottom line price pretty easily, and there's generally little or no pressure for the products and fees that are famous at new car dealerships. All right, on the flip side, which car dealer type do you think we would never recommend to anyone for any reason? Yep, it's the buy here, pay here car lot. It's the car dealer that you should expect the worst form of treatment from. That's it. The other three used car dealer types are basically tied in the middle of the pack. You'll find pros and cons at each of them and go back and watch the video again if you need a refresher. All right, if you appreciate our video today, consider giving us that great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends. Comments matter because they boost the searchability and lead others to the great homework guy content too. If you wanna show some support for Kevin the homework guy, consider a tip via PayPal. The link is in the description box below. Just click the little arrow and it will appear. The entire homework guy team is here to represent you the car buyer and that's what we love to do thanks everyone for coming back keep in touch we'll see you on our next video as kevin always says you guys rock i'm the amazing elizabeth gotta go